back to TSG Cards and welcome to a Steel of the Deal box break video today. I picked up these two extended blasters for $13 a piece. Uh, I believe it was 401 Games was having a flash uh, summer sp or spring sale there. And so I picked these up a little while back and uh, I decided to now rip them open and see what we can find. Um, so all in $26 plus tax, you're looking about 30 bucks all in for these two. Really, really solid considering they were almost 30 bucks when they came out. So two for the price of one really here. So uh, there's the odds there. See what we're hunting. Uh, lots of great inserts and extended series. I actually am one of the few I think who really enjoyed it. I have been breaking a lot because of its low cost nature. And I've actually had some luck pulling some really great stuff. Clear cut young guns. French Young Guns, uh, numbered uh, parallels, so um, it's been really good. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We got our normal eight cards per pack, seven cards in the blaster before they went down to, uh, what do we have, five now in the blaster? Five or six packs in the blaster. So uh, yeah, it's really sad. So let's just get these open with the one blaster. Maybe we'll go head to head on the blasters here and see which blaster comes out on top. This break. All right, so blaster on the left side. Let's start off with that and see what we've got going here. All right, so we'll rip through here, and we're starting off with an Ian Mitchell, very off center. Oh my gosh! All right, so quality control not great. It's one of my first quality control issues with uh, extended, but there we go. Ian Mitchell quality control issue of ultimate victory. Um, so that's it there for the first pack. So hopefully not the whole pack like just like that. But let's see. All right, so the other side now we've got a young guns Cody Curran. So not a great young guns there, but not the worst. I guess, actually, it could be the worst. I think he is one of the worst young guns, so I don't know why I said that. Cody Curran, young guns. Back to the left side. And we've got... We've got Connor Hellbuck Retro. The Retro inserts. So there we go there. That one did not look off-center, so that's good. <laughs> All right, on to the next pack. Got Igor Sharangovich, rookie class SE with the little script auto on there, printed auto. So that's pretty solid. Definitely the right side's winning to start here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so right side is definitely in the lead now. So a miscut and a retro versus the young guns and a hollow or a rookie class SE. Young Guns, Cameron Hillis, yeah, better than Cody Curran, but no, not great. So there we go there. There's an Erica Branson base card there, and he's having one heck of an off, or had a heck of an off season. Signed that big deal with Columbus. And we've got base pack. Oof. Yeah, it looks like base pack here. On that side. All right, back over here. Let's see what we've got on the side. So now we've got, looks like a Yanni Hakampa, rookie class SE. So I think the uh, Sharon Govich was definitely a little bit better. Um, but Hakampa, you know, playing some solid minutes. I think he's Dallas now or signed somewhere else in the offseason. But uh, it's not too shabby, but there we go there. Move on to the right stack. See, hopefully, no more base packs on this. Is. We got a young guns, and is Joel Hoffer okay? That's pretty solid. Uh, good goaltender in the pro in the uh, system for the St. Louis Blues. We've got a couple of his young guns, uh, so that's definitely really solid there. I'd say he's top ten in that rookie class. I know it's not a great one for young guns, but I think he's definitely top ten. So that's pretty good. Ooh, knock that over. And what do we got here? Another Hology FX. Uh, Ole Ulevi, top, was he a top three pick or something? Top 10 pick that never really panned out in Florida system, I think, now. There we go there. So that's Ole Ulevi. Base for the rest. And C pack number five on the right side here. We've got Boom. Oh, that's a good one. Solid hit. Boom. I'm going to 
Do I have sleeves close by? Uh, no, I'll sleeve it up later. I don't have one really close by right now. There we go. Bowen Byram, Retro Young Guns. So that is a sweet card to hit. Definitely got some value you'll see on screen for sure. You'll have seen on screen, but that is awesome. That uh, definitely put the right side into the lead for sure. It was getting close. That Joe Hope for Young Guns was close, but that one, that one definitely uh, made the uh, mark there. I just butchered that pack, pack opening. And that's fine because it was a base pack. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a base pack. All right. I was expecting one of those because we had one already on the uh, right side. There we go. We got our uh, ultimate victory card. This one is not off center. So there we go. But it's just a regular Dylan Larkin. So that was the right side. All right. Looks like last pack on the left side. Oh, no way. What? There's no way. Now, I will say, I think um, the two blasters, they must not have come from the same case or whatnot. It must have been like the end of one case and the start of a next. What the heck? And a William Carlson Dazzlers. That's insane. So we just pulled, so I pulled two Bowen Byram Young Guns, which is like the third, fourth best one you can get. <laughs> that is so crazy. My gosh. Wow, and then the Dazzler, so that is awesome. Wow, that's insane. A bunch of base to finish off. So this guy needs, like, a really good Young Guns, and I don't think we're going to get another one. But that's uh, that's pretty... Ooh, okay, we got a VTech Vanacek Hollow G GRFX um, card there, just the regular one, not the gold parallel. So that ends it off for the right side. But oh my gosh, what a, a break very successful for as i said for like 13 bucks a box so the right side with the vanacek the whole for young guns the sharon govich the byram the dylan larkin and the cody curran young guns so that was the right side the left side we had the byram as well we had the dazzlers the Oli levy uh yanni hockenpah cameron hillis connor hellebuck and the off center ian mitchell so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below which blaster do you think came out on top um, and really great value. Like I guarantee you, you know, these cards for what, for what I paid for it, definitely very happy with what we got. Um, and almost hard to pass up at $13. Kind of wish I bought it maybe a few more, but, uh, that is all for today, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that subscribe button if you're new. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.